What's up, YouTube? Google Flex checking in, and it's been a while since we've done these outdoor walking intros. So, anyways, today we got some pull back and biceps going on today, and we're gonna take it relatively easy. I tweaked my neck about a week ago, and it's still a little tight, so don't want to re injure it or anything. So I'm gonna take it a little bit, easy, a little bit easy. Did a push workout yesterday. Um, again, took it easy, and just gonna heal because we got that long Labor Day weekend coming up. So hopefully some fun stuff. <laughs> Boom! Matt Keto acting like Mark Lobliner with that back workout. So, starting it off, we got the chest supported rows for the hoes. The reason we're doing this chest supported rows, because my lower back is still a little tender from the injury. I hated this machine at first, but I found out if you place your feet slightly on the ground, it takes that pressure off your chest so you can actually breathe and you're not suffocating yourself and you get that nice squeeze. Oh yeah, by the way, new series coming up. I'm gonna start doing a little vlogging series. So, you know, just to uh, change the style up, switch the style up. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up. Name that song. Anyways, back to the workout. So we did, we did some of that chest supported rows and next, oh chest supported rows was about 3 sets, 6 to 8 reps, nothing too crazy today and finally something that puts a little pressure on your lower back. We're doing some penle rows straight from the ground, nothing heavy at all. We're only doing 135 pounds and just repping this out, really focusing on keeping our core nice and tight pushing our air into that abdominal wall and just creating that nice tightness throughout my body also we're just we're focusing on squeezing our lats and squeezing our back for these rows you want to make sure you're also engaging your lats you want to kind of Omar Isaf had a good video on deadlifting and he talked about putting your lats driving your lats in your pocket well the couch did couch Hamilton and he said put your lats in your pocket I really like that I think that works for rows as well and it really helps you think about your lats and engage your lats creating that mind muscle memory because I think that's a big problem when it comes to bent over rows that lots of people forget to engage their lat muscles because they also work doing those rows next we just got a lot of body weight pull-ups I think we did like six or seven sets of these probably did close to maybe a hundred pull-ups I have no idea we weren't counting these past couple of workouts ever since I injured my lower back were pretty much more like just pump workouts and you guys know I'm more so about building strength you know building getting some muscle hypertrophy um, getting overload progressive overload but these sets like we just went for a nice pump and just just decided to pull blood just putting blood into the muscle and feeling good it was more or less like bodybuilding more bodybuilder style workouts that you see so next we got that low row on the dumbbell so these help engage your lower lats what I learned from this exercise and this is like the fit time in doing this and I'm just learning it now if you get that stretch and you pretty much just bring the weight all the way forward Notice how I'm going, leaning all the way forward, you get a way better squeeze in your lower lats than if you just kind of half-ass it. So I think it was maybe this set that I realized if I bring it all the way forward, I get a way better stretch. So, so I'm bringing my, the weight all the way forward. I'm bringing the handles pretty much by my ankles. I'm just getting that far squeeze. So this exercise you just want to want to focus on just retracting your scapula gain that stretch and just retracting driving those elbows back and squeezing those lower lats if you want that nice V hit them lower lats pull-ups ain't gonna do it by itself so after that we're hitting some biceps 
hitting some curls, just 50 pound dumbbells, hitting for hitting that for sets of eight. Easy peasy. By the way, if you guys like that stringer, I know I've today we did lots of filming, so you guys probably seen this stringer in a bunch of other videos, but it's from Alpha Clothing, link down below in the description. My boy Tanner hooks it up and really this stringer he changes the game of their for stringers everywhere in my opinion this is the my most comfortable stringer that i own if you can see how like it rests on my body and it's tapered and i don't know i just i fucking love everything about it even from the colors you know i like them bright colors got them stripes on it so i'm seriously looking forward to more of these next we're curling in that squat rack, but it's okay because it's empty. And yeah, we're doing something different. Jay wanted to do some banded curls, so I was like, screw it. I've never done this exercise before. So we did some banded curls. As you can see, I'm pausing, holding it at the top, and just releasing it nice and slowly. This was a lot harder than it looked. <laughs> and we're curling just the bar. So that's the end of the workout, guys. Comment below. Let me know how you liked it. Try it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!